Black men building a nation. My brother said, have no leisure like them, no right to waste at trees, inventing names for wrens and weeds. But it's when you don't care about the world that you begin owning and destroying it like them. And how can you build, especially a nation, without a soul? He forgot that we've built one already. In the cane, in the rice and cotton fields, and unlike them, came out humanly whole. Because our fathers, being African, saw the sun and moon as God's right and left eye named him Rainmaker and welcomed the blessings of his spit, found in the rocks his stony footprints, heard him traveling the sky on the wind and speaking in the thunder that would trumpet in the soul of the slave. Forget this and let them make us deceive ourselves, that seasons have no meaning for us, And like them, we are slaves again.
My perspective is one I don't know many can recall. I was born in America, learned English and all. I never learned a lick of Spanish. The only thing closest was the taste of Indian viejo, gallo, pinto, and queso frito at the tip of my tongue, but never the words of where my grandparents had truly come from. So I never considered myself a true Latina, whatever that may be. I mean, how could I? I was afraid to love my slight pigmentation, my true culture and the indigenous nations my ancestors had once laid in. How can I call myself a true Latina when I was ashamed to tell my peers and teachers they mispronounced my name? But as I grew older, I realized being Latina was a gift. That just because we've never fit into a category doesn't mean our beauty within our differences is one that can't uplift. Our skin, oh our skin, ranging from rich chocolate to homemade dulce de leche. And our hair, oh our hair, so easy to see. The soft and delicate strands known to be pelo malo for centuries. So some of us assimilate by straining and damaging those innocent curls we once had as a child. But let us Latinx look in the mirror and we'll never see such an ethnic group so diverse filled with grace and beauty. And we're taking back those years of blood, rape, and pain. We're taking back all they thought they gained the minute the Spanish came to the Americas and manipulated us into hating our true indigenous ways. We're stating my name is Elena with no more shame. And we're dancing to our music, feeling the souls in the beat as our souls touch the floor like a racing heartbeat. And we shout, yo soy Latino. Yo soy Nicaragüense, yo soy Mexicana. Like we're ready to reclaim the love for our people, the love for our name. And centuries that are yet to come will be filled with our people who love themselves from when they are young. Hey BCC, I'm in class of 2021 and I created Black at BCC exactly on June 20th. I created the account because I feel that Black people and non-Black people of color go through a lot at BCC and in life in general. We keep a lot of it bottled in and even when we speak out, we tend to not be heard. But with Black at BCC, Black students have a space to express their voices, experiences, and anger candidly with the option of being anonymous. It is also to make people aware of the racism that happens at BCC, because people may think that BCC is inclusive and diverse, but there have been many racist incidents where no action has been taken. It is time to shed light on this much needed conversation within our own community. I've heard from administration that they have started community circles and will also start a committee. I didn't really expect to get any attention from administration, but I'm happy that they've started taking action and hopefully it will bring on some much needed change in BCC. One post that surprises me is from the class of 2015, and she recalls after cheerleading practice, she was in the school stairwell and saw a flyer saying, join the KKK. When taking it to administration, they only said they knew the person responsible for this. I've also received some hate submissions. There was one that said, fuck niggas. But I'm not that surprised about the hate because I knew starting an account like this, there was bound to be some racist comments. To BCC administration and teachers, you have a responsibility toward your students of color to make them feel safe and heard in their own school. And to teachers, when entering your classroom, you need to leave your bias and racism at the door. Overall, we just want real change and we want to see an administration that is ready to listen and take action. To BCC students, it is your time to step out of your privileged bubble, time to take action, and time for you to learn how to use your privilege to help others.